Um, I am Jonas, as you probably cannot see from this tiny uh, tag. Um, and I'm here to present QSAS, which is the Cambridge University Social Anthropology Society. And I apologize for not having been here earlier for the, uh, for, for the debate presentation. Um, it, was, it, was, uh, yeah, it took me a bit long to get here. Um, what I wanted to say about QSAS is basically to, um, uh, to say what we want to enable, uh, what we are doing. Um, and I have a website here, which is basically where you can, you can find contacts in case you want to look at individual people or in case you're interested in following up something in particular. Um, QSAS was founded about six years ago, so it's a rather recently invented tradition in that sense by um, Matej Kandeya, who's now a Durham. And for those of you who are interested in meerkats or active network theory, uh, you will have probably heard his name. Um, it's, we're part of and funded by the Department of Social Anthropology or the Division of Social Anthropology. Um, and hence, we, uh, we don't generate our money from uh, sort of membership fees, which I think a lot of societies tend to do. Um, but um, I just want to make sure that we're actually, you know, that, you know, that this is, in fact, it's something integral to um, the division as such. We're connected to something which actually is separate, um, which is the um, Imponderabilia Journal, um, which has been running for a couple of years um, and is actually open to submissions from all students, um, uh, undergraduates, graduates, postgraduates, um, and you can you can submit just about anything. Uh, um, it's an annual magazine. It's coming out soon. So for those of you who are currently writing up dissertations or any other kinds of, kind of things. Uh, do get in touch with them next year. Um, you can you can have a look at their website with this wonderful Malinowski and uh, title. Um, and Sophie and Theo are the two people that you can contact at the moment. This is actually we partly when we don't spend all the money that we're allocated on speakers or wine, then actually we sort of we partly fund them. Um, but uh, they they pretty much generate their money from from sales and, and advertising. Um, but anyway, that's connected. So if you have any questions about that, also feel free to speak to me. Um, something which we've decided to do last year um, was to create an annual Marilyn Strathern lecture in honor of um, former professor Marilyn Strathern, um, which is basically, in some sense, a counterpart to the Malinowski lecture series in, in London. And um, last year had um, Marilyn present a lecture on gifts money cannot buy, which is part of a, a conference on debt, in fact. And hopefully, if everything works out all right, and if he's not too uh, um, much of an anarchist about it, David Graeber will be presenting um, uh, this summer, and hopefully in May. So for those of you who are sort of interested in his writings, uh, mark that vaguely somewhere in the month of May. Um, something which we came up with um, rather recently was, in fact, in cooperation with the LSE, um, the idea of a debate, the um, LSE versus the uh, the Cambridge debate, um, which again, you know, to some extent took Strathern um, and Block as two uh, straw men that we set up uh, uh, to, talk, to, talk, to talk about the person, but I'm assuming that that's, uh, that's something you've already covered, so I'm not going to talk much about that. The basic idea, however, apart from these extra um, sort of things that, uh, that we engage with, is to enable some sort of exchange, not just, in fact, between undergraduates, because uh, somehow over the years it it seems like there's um, one's very easily stigmatized as an undergraduate and sort of put into that role of you know the, the to be patronized. Um, and hence we thought it was important actually to generate this you know a dialogue in in uh, in a room between undergraduates and postgraduates where it's not necessarily known that you're you know you're the, the undergraduate with a UG tattooed on your forehead, so that you can actually engage with staff and other people in the seminar room um, on a bi-weekly, respectively weekly basis. What we used to do is we used to have two um, seminars a week. One was sort of a lunch bag seminar on a Monday afternoon where we'd invite staff in particular to present some of their work in progress. Um, um, somebody want to answer that? Cool. Uh, um, so the idea basically there being that it's, it's an interesting way of engaging with staff if they, in, a, in sort of an informal basis, present some of their work. Because I sometimes get the feeling that that's, um, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice in that way to engage with the actual stuff that's being done in departments and not to keep it sort of behind office doors, uh, etc. We've now stuck to um, a weekly seminar, which we do sort of on a Thursday afternoon basis, uh, 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 making it a particular slot that people know will be there. Um, 
and it's there to invite um, exactly that kind of dialogue between undergraduates, postgraduates, and um, anthropological <coughs> researchers, not necessarily sticking to the idea that this has to be anthropological, though. Um, we've, we've pretty much maintained an interest and, and, and sort of a, um, uh, 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 um, well, an interest in, in inviting philosophers mainly, in, in inviting other social scientists um, to come and deliver their, their, um, their work so that we sort of show the ways in which anthropology can, in fact, engage with them. Um, and the idea there being is actually that a seminar room in itself, I mean, it might be different in, in sort of other places. Um, where it's a, it's a lecture room rather than something else. But I think the seminar room, as Sonic Kwon, um, um, uh, um, uh, formerly from the MC, put it yesterday, he said, the seminar room is to some sense an absolutely vital institution to a university. And I guess that the seminar room is, of course, more of a, of a, of a concept metaphor, as Henry Moore would say. You know, it's, it's more of an idea that, um, you know, that one can refer to. It's, 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 this, it's the kind of space where people sit around not necessarily a round table, as albums would have it. You know, there's obviously always some sort of uh, 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 hierarchy, and people don't necessarily feel they can't say everything they want to. But it's it's the idea of actually discussing in an informal setting um, ideas that one normally doesn't otherwise formulate. Um, as I said, it's also deliberately to bring together undergraduates and postgraduates. You know, it's 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 not supposed to be just for undergraduates, um, and it allows undergraduates as well as postgraduates to present some of their work as well as their interests. But, so they contact us to, you know, to present some of their, their, their PhD stuff or some of their undergraduate dissertations that are in the writing or not necessarily so. Um, the last thing that I wanted to say is that you can have a look at the website and contact me if you have any other questions. <laughs> yeah. <coughs>